guys, Gracie started kindergarten and that is wild to me. All right, Gracie starts school tomorrow. She just decorated her kindergarten about me bag. Gracie, what did you paint? I pick mommy pig and daddy pig. Mommy pig and a daddy I, I pig? I think he's upside down. Maybe he's going to bed. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe he's stepping on puddles. <laughs> And because of Jacob's righteous example, we too can give fathers blessings just like Jacob did to his kids. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job being quiet. Christian, would you like one? Christian, give me one of mine. Christian, you want a blessing? Okay. Here, come sit down. Trade places. Okay, that was awesome. Christian, you go sit with mommy. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Christian Nana Caraway. Christian Nana Caraway. Because Your middle name is Thomas. I mean, Tom, Thomas. Thomas. Okay. Be quiet, huh? Be so quiet, okay. Daisy. Okay, our turn to be so quiet. It's the last night of summer. Hey, turn the lights back on. Yes, look. I got the new car here. And we got the unicorn here. Lots of unicorns? Yeah. Tomorrow is your first day of kindergarten. What are you guys doing? We're just hanging out. You're just hanging out? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Christian's just hanging out in my room. We're ready to go to school. You have your first day of school today. Should we go downstairs? Yeah, I want to bring my water bottle. I want eggs on apples and... Eggs and apples? Eggs and apples and, and bacon. You're done. And bacon. Okay. Family fun of less food. And I go to new school. Look who's Hello. back from the gym. How are ya? Grace gets school today. <laughs> she had a very specific vision, which is kind of impressive. She wanted just a little braid. Just one in the back, right? So we have a little one in the back. Alright, Gracie. I got a lot of new school. Painting bag with stuff that she loves, and obviously there's a giant unicorn hanging out. First time we've had a packer lunch, and we are ready to go. Christian has been crying all morning. Are you sad? You don't want to talk about it? I'm happy. Good! She'll be back soon. <laughs> Did you just see your teacher? Yeah. Today we are doing same or different, right? And then we'll work on our pencils. Mom, we're gonna do this first. Yep, we're gonna do our cards first. Gracie started going to school when she was three years old, so like, this is our third year of school, kindergarten is. <laughs> but they don't really do three-year-old school out here, so Christian's very sad. So we do like at least a half hour a day Mom, of school. You got your pencil box. Mm -hmm. All of that is mm -hmm. learning mm -hmm. stuff. How was it? Yeah. What are you eating? Mom. Who gave that to you? Your teacher? Mom. She's out. Mom. I love your hat. Mom. Teacher's TV's busted. I cut her hat. I cut her a raccoon. I put it in a cushion cloud. I put my hands. Put it on the paper. There it is. And there's your raccoon you colored. Oh. Day two of school? Yeah. You excited? Yep. Yeah. Look, we got matching shoes on. Yeah. Proud of you. Yeah. Is it stuck? Mm -hmm. What happened? Help. Help. <laughs> Pull. My arm. You're not gonna break your arm. Then we took a family trip down to Pine, Arizona so I could speak at a girls camp. We are on a road trip. Well, maybe. Also, to be noted, Christian's first road trip. 
potty trained. We have gone to this camp when we lived out here like four years ago. We came to this camp, yeah, a couple times. Want to see a flashback picture? A candy bar and then it fell. Oh, I see it. There it is. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm not getting down much further. <laughs> I got him, Robert. You said you hurt your leg doing that? <laughs> no, you weren't. Like the, the gym. So I just glued. <laughs> it just fell. <laughs> You can do it. Why don't I hold it? I did glue on nails in the car. <laughs> I regret my decision almost immediately. I won't even tell you why. I'm just gonna show you and you'll know why. <laughs> oh, that's the one I went with. made it. Ran to the bathroom. Uh, Look at these cute girls and their cute <laughs> toilet paper dresses. And I just found out that what is happening here? <laughs> that they didn't tell anyone who the speaker was. So we're going a secret route to surprise everyone. Can <laughs> <laughs> sign it? Yeah. Will you hold my water? <laughs> yep, I can sign that. There they are. <laughs> go play. Is oh, a beast. Yikes. Okay, yeah. oh, have fun. Bye. Arizona to support my wife. I entertain the kids. Luckily our kids are very independent so they don't need much to be entertained. But here at this girls camp, look, they got a swing set. So. so a common question I often get asked is what's it like being married to Al and having her go around and speak locally, nationally, internationally. And I honestly love it. I love being able to support her. This is something that she has done before I met her. So it's like if I didn't like that she did this, it would have been an issue from the start. But I love it. I love supporting her. I love encouraging her to take firesides and to take traveling engagements. I don't mind, you know, watching the kids like today while she's speaking. It's fun. I find a lot of joy in just driving with her to the far ones. When you're with someone, those individual pursuits shouldn't just end. And so I enjoy, I enjoy helping her. I enjoy encouraging her to do these things. And I enjoy watching her. I enjoy watching the people's reactions. I've seen people cry, I've seen people lose a loss for words, they don't know what to say, they get starstruck with her. I love seeing the difference she makes in people's lives. And so I'll forever support her no matter what she does. And it's it's fun. I, it's rare that I come with her on, on these speaking engagements now, but when I do go, it's a lot of fun seeing uh, the joy that it does. And, you know, my, it just ignites a fire in my wife and I love seeing that in her. So that is my answer to your question is, how is what it's like? I love it. 
I wouldn't change a thing about a relationship. Do you guys have fun? You guys found swings? Look at you! You look sweaty. Okay, bye. You got big airheads? Did they give you candy? Uh -huh. Christian, you went hiking today? Uh -huh, Daddy. Do you remember what happens tomorrow? No school. No school. What else? Pee -pee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mom and Dad are speaking in church tomorrow. Pee -pee. No one cares. What are we talking yeah. about? Each other. <laughs> in sacrament and I actually uploaded my whole sacrament talk as a separate video for you guys and you can click the information thing here or in the description if you want to listen to it. You gonna iron your shirt? Hmm? You gonna iron your shirt like dad? Yeah! 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 My suit! Who is that? Jesus. Jesus and who's that? A prophet? Whoa, who, what's that? Uncle Warren. Uncle Warren, you tell her all of that? Mm -hmm. Did you hear mom and dad speak in church today? Mm -hmm. Was it good or was it boring? Yeah. Boring! <laughs> we did it! What's the end of our talk? So good? The best you've ever heard? Look at this. Hey babe, turn around. You're looking at the new ward mission leader. He just got set apart. The hair was looking funky fresh and curled, but it's too hot, so it didn't last that long. I don't know your teacher's name. Yeah, that's a good idea, Gracie. <laughs> For the children to come to me. <laughs> Father, I pray I'm good. Gracie, you look so pretty. Guess what? Pictures. She did pictures for me four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. Now you're married and you have a baby. Gracie was like maybe a year old. No, no, no. She was like barely walking. Look at how pretty. Be careful about where you walk, okay? Look at those! Go. Go. Hey, look here. Oh. Arm workout. Arm workout. And then I spoke again this week in Gilbert to a YSA Relief Society. It was totally awesome. Okay, I'm off to go and speak for the third time for three weeks in a row and I'm so excited. Because of my high-risk pregnancy and continued and new complications with this thing going on, um, there's lots of things that I can't do and had to stop and change and adjust. But I'm so glad that speaking locally isn't one of them. I just love speaking. So much. Right, here we are. Let's uh, do this. Okay, I just, it's just so cute. You get it on video. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> concerning news at the doctors this week but this week I'm committed to finally release the baby video uh, so I can just update you all things pregnancy all at once so in the meantime here's music and montage I'll see you soon our God is an unchanging God but that doesn't just mean commandments are unchanging and understanding this will help us to discover the reality that our one-by-one one God will always be a one-by-one one God, and that will not change. And knowing that our unchanging God means that our helping God 
will always be a helping God, that our God will always be a God of miracles, of mercy, of guidance, of forgiveness, of revelation. Our unchanging God means that his love for his children is also unchanging. Our God will always be a loving God that is bound to his promise to us. And surely, the thing that God enjoys the most about being God is the thrill of being merciful, especially to those who don't expect it and often feel they don't deserve it, Elder Holland says. And that will also never change if we but stay close to him and look, because we find what we look for. And it may be tempting to focus on the hard and the hurt and the confusion, but that's the adversary snare. If we look, we will find God every day. We will see him with his arms wide open in the opportunity, in the comfort, in the answers, in the chance to change, in the love extended and the love felt, in the glimmers of hope we see, in the friend who reached out to us, in the laughter, the happy, the tears shed at Girl Scamp, the racing heart turned sacrament meeting, and in the strength to make it one more day.